Hey guys, Dirtmeister96 here, and as you can see, I am using the brand new T26E5 Tier 8 American Premium Heavy. Uh, this is actually my first match in it, so we will see just how good this machine is. I Already I'm really liking the acceleration and that top speed of 40 kilometers an hour is pretty decent for a heavy tank, at least at tier 8. And there's a Type 64 over the hill, but he can't hit me. So basically, this tank has amazing armor on the front of the turret. The hull is fairly thick, very well angled, as you can see. It should be able to get a lot of bounces this match. The gun is probably the highlight though. With that insane penetration. Alright, can't get shot. Maybe I can hit the the E4. Uh, yeah, maybe this one. Yes, nailed him right through side of the turret. He's actually coming up the hill, giving me a better shot. Yeah, hit that. Oh. Here he comes back again. See if I can hit his cupola. Nailed it. This gun is very accurate. Very good rate of fire. As you can see, 6.21 second reload. So far, 50 50 bouncing. Maybe I can hit that 110. Nope. Okay, my team needs to help me out here. Hit that cupola again, come on. Yes! I love the accuracy so far. As you can see, I already have 694 damage. This thing has about 2,500 DPM if you have vents and a rammer on it. Brothers in Arms pushes it up a little bit more. I'm currently working on Brothers in Arms on my crew. Right through the front there. That super pushing is really annoying me. As you can see, the armor, the frontal armor is held up pretty good. Only one shot through my front. Alright, let's see if I can get a shot maybe on this panther. Oh. Or I'll take the VK. Oh. Shot decided to go way off target there. Nailed him. Maybe I can finish? Nope. Got ourselves that super Pershing still over there. Alright. No. Wow. Alright, finish this guy right now. There we go. 1,284 damage. Maybe I can finish this E5. Okay, come on. Lower plate. Yes. Alright. I can get him. Yes. 
three kills. 2,198 damage. The enemy E5 hit me right on the turret. Darn it, that super person. Distracted, I'm gonna peek over. Got him. I think I can finish him in the next shot. Perfect. Uh, maybe I can get this Cheeto. Or that Jumbo might kill him first. I think the Jumbo's gonna kill him. I'll go over anyway. And I got him. Five kills. Not shabby at all. Maybe I can pick up the top gun. Three enemy tanks left. Any one of them can kill me in one shot. So I'm not real keen on moving up too much. this ridge as cover, maybe get hull down, peek my turret over, hopefully our guys will spot somebody for me. That was, wow, okay. Oh, RHM. Might as well get that little bit of extra damage. Why is he hiding back here? And so close to 3,000 damage. First match in this thing, too. actually see them. They're probably all bunched up on the other side of A2. But overall, so far I'm really liking this tank a lot. As you can see, the armor held up pretty good. Did They did get a few shots through, but as you can see, that's the side of the rear of the turret. And I think one of them was a little bit, somehow got a little to my side. Other than that, there's no real damage to the hull. Actually, one of them did get through the front. I'm not sure why it's not showing up there, but uh, I mean, they only got a few shots through. I'm 
very, very sturdy armor at this point, I believe. The gun alpha is very low for a heavy, but I think the six second reload really does make up for it. All in all, very, very solid tank. And this is only my first match in it, so I don't really have a ton of experience to draw from at this point. But, a very solid tank. I would definitely recommend picking one up. This is just the rental one at the moment, but definitely... This is a tank I would pick up myself. And it looks like I'm not going to get that final kill. They're on the other side of the ridge with just a little bit of their turrets poking up. So, uh, thanks guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Click the link below and subscribe to see all my future videos. This week I'm hopefully going to be uploading a couple more in honor of the Thanksgiving events going on. I will be focusing on tanks that have been available or very common in the past couple of weeks through the events that are going on. So click that subscribe button to see all the new videos as they come out. See you guys on the battlefield.